when we think of meme rap, like you think of Little B, or even Fetty Wap blowing up with like five hits in a row, I'm pretty much falling off. I call that kind of a funny meme. Also the whole cloud era where we had rappers like Little Pump, Smoke Perp, even a really corny one, Kid Boo, or one of the most recent rappers that's definitely became a meme and a huge success. And that was Mario Judah. But in this video, we're gonna break down a meme rapper that you may not even really understand is actually a meme rapper. He makes pretty incredible music too, but he's still technically a meme rapper. For this specific fact, his swag has been considered a meme along with his hit TikTok viral song. But honestly, before I'm gonna get into this, I'm just gonna kind of explain how the song even really became a meme. Bobby Sandy in the third, born on July 30th, 2001. Hails from a dynamic shape by two younger sisters and an older half-brother. Though he often relates more to the feeling of being an only child. His journey into the world of hip-hop began while freestyling sessions, drawing inspirations from none other than his father, raised in an environment where creativity flourished. Bobby embarked on a unique educational path, transitioning to homeschooling in the sixth grade under the watchful eye of his grandmother, a former teacher. However, the solitude of homeschooling didn't really shield him from the lure of experimentation, and by the time he turned the conventional schooling, the ninth and 10th grades. Bobby ended up finding himself entangled in the grips of substance abuse, particularly Xanax. Reflecting on this period, Bobby recognized the destructive impact of his substance abuse. The solitude and introspection of his adolescent years has also left an incredible mark on Bobby, inspiring the lonely component of a stage persona. Despite the challenges he's faced, Bobby discovered a solace and strength in his writing abilities, a skill that would become instrumental in the shaping his artistic identity. Through his journey of self-discovery and creative expression, Bobby emerged as an artist poised to make waves in the world of rap. Destroy Lonely embarked on his musical journey at the age of 14, stepping into recording in studio nestled with confines of a school to birth his earliest sonic creations. It was here that he crossed paths with two kindred spirits, Texaco and Nisus, collaborative energies that would fuel creative fire for many years to come. Together they forced foundation of their musical styles, birthing their project titled Nisus Destroyed, which was a pretty fire project. However, it was the sonic of the 2019 track Bane that served as a sonic call, catapulting Destroy Lonely into the spotlight of musical acclaim. With each minute, his name began to echo louder in the halls of rap recognition, ultimately catching the discerning ear of none other than Play Bacardi in December of 2020, following the release of a tantalizing music video for Oh Yeah. Fast forward to the dawn of 2021. Destroy Lonely found himself under the wing of Cardi's esteemed record label, Opium. His ascent continued and marked by notable appearances in Cardi's music video, Sky. Alongside an electrifying performance at the Lyrical Lemonade Summer Smash in April of 2022. As the sands of time swept forward, Destroy Lonely's musical footprint expanded, leaving a pretty incredible mark with collaborations with Ken Carson and BK The Ruler. In August of 2022, he unveiled his magnus opus titled No Stylus, a sonic tapestry woven with lyrical finesse and sonic alchemy. But the journey of the sonic exploration didn't actually end there. Destroy Lonely unveiled the deluxe edition of No Stylus, dubbed as NS Ultra, as the pages of the saga continued to unroll. Destroy Lonely remained a testament to the power of artistic evolution. Can't even lie to you, Destroy Lonely definitely made Meme Rack pretty much cool again. On February 21st, 2023, Lonely decided us to bless us with, you know, just a snippet on Tumblr called If It Looks a Kill. And it was a weird time for Destroy Lonely fans as a snippet of It Looks a Kill was pretty much just blowing up all over TikTok. So much to the point where the song and its outfits were pretty much a whole trend. It's kind of the opium aesthetic. So much to the point where Destroy Lonely just pretty much ran with the ambient trap style and destroy lonely pretty much just became a meme then just when we thought we couldn't handle any more excitement march 3rd 2023 pretty much rolled around and destroy lonely ended up gracing us with a highly anticipated single of looks a kill it left listeners quacking their boots tapping their feet kind of like your high off ecstasy 